Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and today we're here with another new model we haven't covered in our model feature series of products from Massey Ferguson. This is a 2860M which you say yep you've you've covered that but we haven't covered this configuration. This is the hydrostat version of the 2860M with the deluxe cab version. This tractor is 60.3 engine horsepower and it creates 44.6 PTO horsepower. It's got the R4 tires. As you can see here, we've got the Galaxy R4 on the front and we have the Galaxy R4 on the back. This is the 17.5 by 24. The 24 is the width of the rim and the 17.5 is the width of the tire. So this is a 17 and a half inch wide tire with a 24 inch rim is what comes is available on a 2860M. Now one of the things the 2860M is going to be a little bit different is if you look at the power, the gear version or our power shuttle, our transmission and rear end system is a little bit different. This is the the rear end that's featured in our 2850 through 2860 M series tractors on all the hydrostat versions. Got your sight glass down here, makes it nice and easy to check your level. 540 PTO shaft, top link is standard equipment, toolbox comes with it. You'll also get a electrical power connector and it's going to plug in right back here for trailer trailer lights if you want to pull a trailer you can do that uh, slow moving vehicle sign rear window wiper um, telescopic three-point link ends right there you can pull them out one thing on the 2860 you have the category one and cat two cross drilled balls down there so that is one of the differences of the 2860. Uh, telescopic stabilizers are standard. Draw bar is all features of it. The 2860 power shuttle, you're going to see all of this back area start increasing in size. And you can see that in our video. We've done a video on the open station and the cab version of it. Got your window washer fluid back here. You've got your PTO start stop switch, metal fenders, metal hoods, and easy to get into to maintain. Just pull that lever, pull up the hood, and it's even got a gas strut there that'll hold it up. Uh, you have your clean out screen here on this side. You've also got another one nope your clean out screen here on the front and your rear clean out screen to keep the grass and stuff out of your condensers and coolers and those are made out of metal got your battery your coolant overflow your air cleaner all right here in handy this does have the diesel particulate filter but as we've explained, this is an automatic regen system. All you got to do is when the light starts flashing, is keep on going. Just raise your engine RPMs up into the orange band that you will see right here, which is about 2300 to 2700 range right there. Run that up, and it's going to do the regeneration automatically for you. The light will go solid, and... It will go out when it's done so very simple easy to do uh, i would not worry about it uh, it's about a 50 hour average you have your dipstick here slide around here on the right hand side of the engine got your engine oil filter got your fill port here um, very simple clean tier stage five emissions rated engine so that's meets the latest emissions and actually more um, heavy duty front axle with a lot of clearance there you got the bevel gear pinion design that you basically have a shaft come over 
90 degree angle comes down and then the and then the wheel and the final reduction is all pivots here real close so you can get super tight turning radiuses like we're seeing there what's our number one feature that customers talk about ground level fueling and it's available on the 2860m the new style the new hood and the new power plant this one features the fl 2814 loader we'll let it down here in just a little bit so we can talk about that but it's got the couplers here makes it easy to connect and disconnect your fuel filter pump is right here and it's a two-door cab you can get in from either side we're going to jump up in a cab and explain all them controls in just a little bit but big mirrors here standard equipment got your hazard lights front wiper uh, just a super nice cab and system to help you do more stay out of those hot elements those cold elements and do more so led lights this one has the deluxe cab so we're gonna have led work light back here and one here we'll jump in here we're gonna talk about all that cool stuff that you get um, come in on the left hand cab door here you have your range control high medium and low range this is a synchronized hydrostat so you do not have a clutch you got dual brake pedals this is tilt for the steering and that is your forward and reverse pedals over there differential lock is right here flow control on the three point where you can slow it down or lock it from here um, we're going to jump up here let's just jump and hit the loader here real quick and then we'll come right back this is the fl 2814 loader it has a bucket gauge rod as standard equipment with it when you're in this yellow area here you can watch that gauge and you can tell what your bucket level is we've got her pointed downhill and it is telling us that it is pointed downhill the m series tractors all come with skid steer quick attach it's a two lever quick attach system there that fits any of the skid steer quick attach mounted implements um, this loader will reach 111 inches high as we showed you earlier um, it will pick up 2570 pounds at the pivot pin this right here is your pivot pin and that point is at 111 inches high now breakout force is 3910 pounds when the bucket comes off the ground almost 4000 pounds of lift capacity there to 2570 pounds at max lift height one of the thing features of the fl series loader is the is the thin profile of the arms it gives you great visibility great strength and performance and with the m series you're going to have the bucket linkage improves your cycle times and gives you more power for your tilt and dump functions that is pretty much everything on the loader we're going to slip back here we're going to talk a couple things spec before we go in the remote valves um, the loader mid loader and the rear remote this cab comes with one set of remote standard equipment you're going to have 12.6 gallons per minute hydraulic flow at the remote valve so you've got a lot of flow there and our three-point lifting capacity is 3,483 pounds at the lift ball or two foot behind measurement is 3,086 pounds so who's ready to get in here and see the tractor the controls and drive it I am these are so fun to drive uh, we're gonna jump in the left hand cab door here just go through some controls this is your PTO you can take it out of gear or you can put it in 540 when you take it out of gear you can turn the shaft to hook up your implements this is your four-wheel drive engagement down is engaged as designated by this decal here and up is disengaged your synchronized hydrostat and then we're going to come right down here this is response control you can make this hydroshaft change speeds quickly or you can smooth it out to your preference you have a max speed limit the max speed allows you to 
set your maximum speed and one great example is when you're rotary cutting uh, if you're working at a speed you set this speed you stomp the hydrostat pedal and it's not going to go any faster than what you set here and then you've got cruise control so max speed and then hit the cruise control and you're returning to that speed time after time much like a gear transmission with the deluxe package we have several features one of them is air ride seat suspension you got your tilt on your back here you have armrests you got the cloth seat we're going to jump in here and we're going to pump up the air shut the shut the door this is a super this is a automatic air and it adjusts to your own weight um, you have on the right hand side you can switch come forward and reverse you have your tilt here on your steering you have your horn you have your air conditioning controls that's your blower the blue light tells you if, if heaters on or air conditioner and this is your thermostat control inside outside air recirc you have your light here when it's uh, the light switch is on the tractors on it'll be a red light there that's your front rear work lights your rear wiper your front wiper pull down sunshade that is super nice when the sun is shooting right in your eyes little mesh storage box they've got the box for the pop-out face here on the Bluetooth radio um, that is a super nice radio Bluetooth connected to your phone uh, got the side windows open here got your Bluetooth speaker over here so you can talk while you're driving one set of remote valves your three-point raise and lower draft control is an option on all the M series hydrostat models it is standard on the power shuttle version and then our new thumb throttle um, parking brake lever is here you take down push it there to take it off you just push the pedal and that you can unlatch the pedal and I'll show you one quick tip if you hit both brakes you're going to dump the oil to the hydrostat and it's going to stop if you hold one you can build back pressure and we'll show you on a hill to keep it from wanting to roll forward these two buttons are your are to work with the diesel particulate filter this is a to if you cannot perform and when you start it up we'll show you real quick here we'll turn her off actually you're going to have a light right right over here that uh, comes on that uh, will uh, flash at you it's going to be that air symbol right there um, if you cannot perform the diesel particulate filter or you're in a environment with uh, flammable materials you can push and hold this for five seconds and the light will come on and show you the inhibit light you can also do a park regeneration this button here goes through the screen here it's going to show you miles an hour and going to show you your pto on and off hours there fuel gauge and coolant temperature tachometer and then here is your warning lights down there this is your pto engagement with soft start soft start is when it's lit up push down and turn a third of the turn and that will engage your pto and you'll see your pto light engages when it comes on uh, key switch down here we're going to fire up look at that loader man it's idle speed got nice flow on it you can do two functions at once you can see two functions at once there we're raising and dumping speed up the rpms a little bit and that'll increase your cycle times or reduce your cycle time increase the speed of the loader and the functionality of the thing and man you can feel that beautiful air conditioning happening right now um, light switch for your lights that's when the red light comes on is when you turn this red light on high beams low beams 
nice quiet cab this, this side opens actually the back will open too got a cell phone holder right here if you got any questions on the diesel particulate filter there's a decal right here it's going to show your flashing and what you need to do when it goes to solid as you're in the process of regenerating flashing and park park regeneration is required and the solid the dpf filter is in the process of doing a park regen so the the faster you can do it and go ahead and get it cleaned out the no the no stopping you have to do you don't have to let do a park regen so my advice to you when the light comes starts flashing that's when you then you do your uh you go ahead and just keep on working doing whatever you're doing and let it go we're going to select the snail range here we're going to have it in quick max speed cruise control hit cruise control there and you can see it stays there hey did you hear that i forgot to talk about something when you push the pedal you can hear the engine rev you can watch the rpm this tractor has auto throttle standard equipment and it is one of the greatest features because you can be working along and as you can see we need more power it's automatically going to raise the engine rpm up without it, any user input you're not having to work the throttle over here to do that so that is one of the cool features of that that was low range we'll come to mid to turtle here it's going to be our mid-range going to give us a little faster speeds give you more work speeds you can hit here we're at 26 right now at about 2000 rpms we can hit our hit our button there we can actually bring our rpms up to with our thumb throttle and it'll maintain our cruise speed if you want to stop the cruise you can hit the brakes and it's going to stop it we'll get going again here or the preferred method I like is use your foot, kicks the cruise off, and you'll see the cruise light come on there. Right down here is your cruise light. If you hit the button, it's going foot pedal is going to do it. You can capture it and then you can slow down. So that is my preferred method, so you don't get a lot of jolt, jerking and jolting and all that stuff. Um, and now we can go to high range. be more aggressive forward and reverse if you do quick you can see it really stops the tractor quickly now we're going to go to the slow side and it's not as jerky it takes a little bit longer to get everything going this is an e-hydrostat electric hydrostat that uh, allows you to do a lot more functions and features cruise control a lot of the other things but you can see we're up 17 7 mile an hour. Um, this tractor, Hydrostat, I've got the spec here. Hang on. I think is about a is 15.73 miles per hour. Whoop! Don't run into that John Deere. We've been trading John Deere stuff lately like crazy. We have to get around here. We've got uh, I think four of them left. We sold one this morning. There's a 3025E and a 1025R there. That one's a 2019 and that's a 2015. People are manning up to Massey Ferguson and uh, learning the value and the differences. Um, weight of the tractor is 4,487 pounds without the loader. You're going to look at about 800 to 1,000 pounds on your loader weights. Based on the, the bucket you choose, you can do the standard bucket or high volume or you can add grapples and accessories and all kinds of stuff. We got a couple grapples over here, but uh, that's pretty much driving a Massey Ferguson. I mean, you can do your max speed limit, and I can control it here, and you're just gonna slow the tractor down. You can see with the speed, I can speed it up, slow it down with this, but I can hit that thing and return to a cruise control speed time after time. Now, one of my little tips and uh, this is one of the things uh, you get on a little slope here and a, and a hydrostat's not going to be a hundred percent but that's one of the cool things is all you have to do is hit the brakes if you hit the brakes and you want to back up here I let off 
off, it's going to roll forward there a little bit before we took off. Now, one of the things, if you want to, if you want to avoid that, is you hit one brake and hold it. And then you can feel that engine. You can see it. We build pressure up. When I let go, it automatically goes. That's a tip to help you. If you use separated brakes, you can hold both brakes. Slide your foot over, hold one, build back pressure, and your tractor's instantly going to start going backwards instead of doing that little creep forward before it takes off. We'll just show you one more time here. We'll, we've got our tractor here. We're going to let go. It rolled forward before it took off backwards. And if you're down a hill like this next to a creek, that's one good way to to do it but man i adjusted that response control man you got some good aggressive uh, forward reverse control you can make this thing hump or you can make her smooth and nice and simple easy to operate man these 2860 2800 m's 1800 m's with deluxe cab you just any of the cabs are so sweet to operate you know um, you can work in tight places oh you got turn signals too there you got hazard lights so you've got a lot of features and stuff that you can work with there and man the response control of the loader let's just crank her up we'll pull the sunshade down because it's a little bit it's cool that you can actually look through that. You can see what you're doing through the through the sunshade there. You can pull her way down there. And you got a sun out there that ain't blinding in your eyes. So I hope that helped you look, learn a little bit more about the operation controls and features of the Massey Ferguson 2860M power shuttle. Bluetooth radio, man, it's got all kinds of stuff. Got a CD player, I think. MP3 outlet here, I know. Uh, I think uh, if you pop it, yep, you got a CD player right up there. Um, you got your controls there. You can do your bands. Got a lot of features, functions. Got a little cab light here that you can turn it on. You can have it in that position. When you open the door, the light comes on. We'll leave the light on for you. Got your red light there. We're gonna jump out and discuss the features of the deluxe cab. And I'm glad you all stopped by and uh, let us show you the 2860M cab version. Look at how much room you've got in here, man. You've got a lot of lot of elbow room on both sides. You're not banging into stuff. The controls are very ergonomically easy to get to. Uh, steering wheel, joystick, your remote valve, your hydraulic three-point controls are simple to easy to operate this nice spacious cab. Check them out. Get to your Massey Ferguson dealer and check out the 2860M. Okay, who can guess the seven added features of the Deluxe Cab Package? Okay, air ride seat, we talked about that. Bluetooth radio. We didn't talk about the rear window defrogger. You've got a rear window defogger, and there's a switch right up there to turn it on. That's the rear window defogger. You've got the storage pouch. Um, you've got the scissor-style scissor visor. We talked about that. We showed you how that operates. But the other thing is, when you push the brakes, you have brake lights back here. Uh, some people working in municipalities require brake lights, and this tractor offers them in the 2860M. And we got the LED lights, but we, we turned the key off. So, And we got the LED lights on the front. You got two of them there. And on the rear, you've also got two more LEDs. Got one here, and you have another one right there. 
So you got four LEDs on the tractor, and that makes up the seven items of the Massey Ferguson 2860M Deluxe Tractor that is ready to take you to an add heavier workload. This, this tractor is capable of running a seven foot rotary cutter. Uh, you could even run that four by five baler, especially if you drop the bale down to about the four foot size. This is 44 PTO horsepower. That only requires 40. So there's a lot of options. You got bale spears, collet forks, and all that type of stuff too that you can add. So it's a super nice tractor, packed full of lots of features and stuff. You get more, you can do more. You get you a Massey Ferguson, and if you're in West Central Missouri, Varnberg Implement. Just come to that door right there. You see that sign? It's Varnberg Implement here in Higginsville, Missouri. We're right here on 13 High Business 13, which is Fairground Avenue and Missouri 13 Highway there. Just 15 miles south of the Missouri River or Lexington, Missouri, and the Battle of the Hemp Bales, or four miles north of Interstate 70 about 45 miles from the sports complex where the Kansas City Royals and the Kansas City Chiefs or 49 miles from the Missouri-Kansas line. We're your Massey Ferguson dealer here in Higginsville, Missouri, and we're here to help you find the perfect tractor for you. 2021's a challenge. We've got tractors like this one that's already pre-sold. We've got three tractors in stock, a 35, a 40, and a 4710 right now. It's the only thing we got in stock, but we're here to work our tails off to find the perfect tractor for you and get it as fast as we can to meet your needs and your schedule. Come visit us at Varnberg Implement. See that big gray sign. You know you're at home of the tractor specialist here in Higginsville, Missouri. Thank you and come back and tune in and we'll show more awesome features of more awesome Massey Ferguson tractors. It's gonna help you get more for your hard earned dollar. Heavy metal hoods, heavy metal fenders, ground level fueling, and big spacious quiet cabs that make your life a lot more easier. And as the temperatures are warming up, that air conditioner feels pretty dang good in that cab. Come see it, come experience the Massey Ferguson difference.